Hey there, in this video, we are going to talk about how we add and subtract decimals. So as a general rule, the basic operations with decimals are identical to basic operations with natural numbers or whole numbers. However, there are a few important principles to maintain in order for the results to be accurate. So let's take a look at some examples here. So to start, we have 14.78 minus 2.36. So what we want to do anytime we're adding or subtracting decimals is to make sure that the number of decimal digits in each decimal is identical. So we want to make sure that the number of decimal digits, meaning the numbers, the number of numbers after the decimal point is the same in our two numbers. Now we see 7, 8, and 3, 6. So there's two decimal digits here and here. So that is good to go. If not, we'll see what we do um, on that on example two here, if they're not identical. So they are identical, so we can move on. So we are going to ignore that decimal point. If it helps, you can actually take it out to start and perform the addition or subtraction as if you would if those were whole numbers. So for example, we are going to do 1478 minus 236. But in the end, we will place the decimal point back in the same position that it started with before performing the operation, meaning we are going to place it in our answer with two decimal dig digits. So our answer will have two decimal digits because that's how many digits, decimal digits, each of our original numbers started as um, before we did the subtraction. So we will go ahead and subtract 1478 minus 236. So when we do that, we subtract down the columns. 8 minus 6 is 2, 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 1 minus 0 essentially is 1, or just bring the 1 down. So our answer is not 1,242, and you can reason through that with, if I take 14.78 minus 2.36, and if I just ignore those decimal digits for a second, 14 minus 2 is 12. So it's going to be somewhere around there. That can help you with estimating as well um, and figuring out where those decimal digits are and where the decimal point goes. So remember we said there are going to be two decimal digits. So that means the 4 and the 2 are going to be our decimal digit. So we put our um, decimal point between the 2 and the 4. So that will be 12.42 as our final answer. Now, sometimes we have um, two decimals that don't actually have the same number of decimal digits. So, for example, we have a 9 and we have a 2, 6. We can't use those as is. Using this method, we would need to go ahead and rewrite this 2.9 as 2.90. So when there's fewer decimal digits, we're going to put zeros at the end of that number. And it won't actually change the value, but it makes it line up in terms of how many decimal digits there are. So if we were missing two numbers, we would put two zeros, for example, in comparison to the other number. So this is really the problem we're doing. And again, the nine zero and the two six tells us that we will have two decimal digits in our answer. So our answer, again, will have two decimal digits. It won't always be two. It's just these two examples did end up that way. So we will have 2.90 plus 3.26. And notice how the decimal points line up. Or you can think of it as 290 plus 326. Add down the columns and then put our decimal digits there. So it's really up to you either way. So if I eliminate those decimal points, then I'll add down the columns. 0 plus 6 is 6. 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry the 1. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus another 1 is 6. So again, it doesn't seem reasonable that 616 would be our answer. So 2 and 3, with a little bit of um, portion or part of another whole, um, being the decimal of 0 0.90 and 0 0.26, when you add those together, that's essentially like adding almost like a 2 and a 3. You're going to get about 5 or somewhere around there. 616 is not even close to that. So again, that estimating or that reasoning through your answer can help make sure that you're not putting the decimal in the wrong spot or forgetting about the decimal. So we should have two decimal digits, so 1 and 6, and we always work from the right side over. And one and six are going to be our decimal digit. So our, our um, decimal point will go between this first six and the one. So our answer is 6.16. 
So in summary, when we're adding or subtracting decimals, make sure that the um, numbers that you're adding or subtracting have the same number of decimal digits. If not, then we want to go ahead and add zeros at the end of the number to match the number of decimal digits. We can omit or ignore the decimal point for now, and then we go ahead and add or subtract with the new whole numbers. At the end, we replace the decimal point. So again, we're going to put the decimal point back in our answer in the same position as where it started. So the same number of decimal digits as prior to the operation. And that is our process for adding or subtracting decimals.